NBA 2K has dropped a ton of information today. And after going through all of this information, I'm here to tell you shot creators are going to be OP in NBA 2K25. Now, some of y'all might like this and some of y'all might not like it so much. But in today's video, I'm going to show y'all all the information that's going to let you know how this is supposed to be possible. Now, the first thing that's making all this change happen is pro play. Now, I know some people like pro play and some people don't like pro play. But pro play came out of NBA 2K24. And for the most part, you saw that there are some animations that were actually affected but people didn't really know too much about them or how to trigger them. Now the animation that I'm talking about is hop jumpers. Now since 2K is trying to make their game more like the NBA, you kind of have to use the NBA to see where the future of 2K is going. In the NBA, when players bring the ball up, they are rarely shooting a standstill shot. So most of these animations are actually put into the hop jumper animation in NBA 2K24. But if you use animations like Kevin Herter, Kevin Durant, Jokic, you saw that some of these animations had super misdirection movements that get you wide open shots as long as you can time the shot. Now on NBA 2K25, they're going away from hop jumpers and going towards what they call signature go-to shot. Now the unique thing about this is that they've captured most of the players in the NBA who has some type of signature shot. Like you say, Curry, Jason Tatum, a Tyrese Halliburton. And now you will be able to equip all of these players signature go-to shot and use them to get open in a variety of different ways. Now, if you don't know what signature go-to shots is, I'm gonna let Mike Wang explain it for you. We've had 9,000 new pro play animations to the game this year. A lot of them are shots, signature shots. So nearly every player in the league now has a signature shot. One of the cool things that we added was this feature called signature go-to shots. So if you remember in 2K24, you could flick the right stick up and you could um, do a little size up sequence to get open, right? In 2K25, if you hold the right stick up, you can do a size up sequence that branches directly into your jump shot. So it's a nice way to get open and get some shots off. Now also, when you look at the trailer, the Mike Wayne courtside report, the video version, and the courtside report written out version, how many standstill jump shots did you see in any of those videos or clips? I think there was one, maybe two, but every other shot that they showed in there were some versions of step backs or dribble pull up. But then to break it down even more, this clip of Jamal Murray's step back where he has Christy Gardner. Do you see how much space he gets with this go-to signature shot? Because they captured so much gameplay, there's gonna be so many unique animations making it extremely hard for people to keep up with you while you're playing the game. Now there's still gonna be a learning curve when it comes to this game because we do have the shot timing profile that allow you to adjust the difficulty of how you want to shoot in the game now to be a whole hundred percent honest i'm not the biggest fan of it i wish everybody would be on the same playing field but i understand 2k trying to bring more people into the game to have a lower difficulty for them to be able to shoot in this game now if they lower the difficulty of how much vc costs it'll be a whole different ballgame. They can get a whole bunch of more people to come in there. But I don't think 2K gonna do that no time soon. So make sure you like the video and hit that sub button, man, because we ain't going nowhere. Now, another part of this learning curve is probably going to be this pro stick rhythm shooting. But I'm not going to read this out to you. I'm going to let Mike Wang explain this to you because he says it better. Yeah, so pro stick rhythm shooting is probably one of my favorite features of the game because it's just a new way to play, a new way to shoot. So in the past, it's always been the same, right? You hold a button down, release it to get, to get your shot off. With pro stick rhythm shooting, what you want to do is you want to try to match the rhythm of the player's shot. So you pull the right stick down, and when he gets to the, his set point, you push the right stick up in rhythm with how he shoots in real life. So if you master rhythm shooting, you can actually be much better than someone who's a traditional regular button shooting. Now you see that rhythm shooting is actually going to be more effective than shooting with your standard button. But on top of that, Wolf, a 2K dev who was formerly in the NBA 2K League, and he actually got out just in time, posted on X or Twitter that rhythm shooting is my favorite new feature. My shot time and profile is set to high risk reward. Very satisfying once you get it down. He also said that incorporating go-to shot animations into your dribble combos can create some really unique and shifty sequences. Excited to see what you guys come up with once you get in the lab. Now, I'm going to be in the lab. I'm trying to learn all. I'm I'm listen. Now, another adjustment for people on NBA 2K25 is going to be shot meters. Now, Mike Wayne had posted on 2K Discord. So if you're not in that Discord, go check it out. And speaking of Discords, you can check mine out too. And speaking of checking that out, make sure you check that like button for me on this video. But somebody asked him a question asking how our shot meters changed in 2K25. Now, in this clip right here, you see we did get a glimpse of how the shot meter was. Now, I thought this meter was for the rhythm shooting meter. 
but it actually is, and it's just a regular shot meter. So they totally redesigned the meter system. Now this is probably because people were using the meters and stuff like that to cheat using the Titans and the Zens and stuff like that. So they changed it up. And then what Mike Wayne said about it is, the shot meter works differently in NBA 2K25. There are three options, arrow, ring, and dial. But now rather than freezing, like how we had in previous 2Ks where you green and freeze, it goes green, that's how you know you greened it. All of the meters animate from beginning to end in sync with the ideal time to release the button. Now, instead of, like I say, to freeze again, he says the ideal time to release the button is the exact frame the meter disappears from your screen. So no more of the flash greens. Now it's just gonna go away and that's when your green animation is gonna pop up. Now what I wanna see if it's true is when he says one of the main benefits of this change is that shot meters are much more accurate online. So you no longer need to compensate for latency when you're shooting shots, layups, or free throws online. And that's why I could never get down with the meter because of the delay. So now hopefully we will have less delay when we're using these signature go-to shots trying to elevate our game. On top of it might make that dump meter op but i'm gonna say that for another video now even though i know shot creator is going to be op i do have a couple questions that kind of give me some concern when it comes to that play style the shot canceling feature is one of them now if you played 2k24 and you did hop jumpers you know that when you stop the hop jumper before you actually went to go shoot the ball he will stop and do this extra dribble animation that allowed the defense time to catch up to you. But if you look at real clips, like I'm gonna show y'all right here in the NBA, the cancel of a hop jumper actually is what gets them open and not actually allows the defender to catch up. But if you look at this clip on the Mike Wang's video courtside report, you see when Steph Curry cancels out of his signature go-to shot, it actually gives him a pause and doesn't seem like it allows him to move then it snaps you into, now you can do a dribble move and get out of it. But again, I'm gonna show you Steph Curry doing a move in real life where when he cancels out his signature go-to shot, there's no pause, there's no extra dribble down. He actually just goes with a crossover and keeps it moving. Now, my other concern is with the custom visual cues. In NBA 2K25, they're saying that you're going to be able to set your visual cue to any point in the shot. But how would this affect those signature go-to shots and stuff like that? In previous 2Ks, the hop jumper, the animation that seems more like the signature go-to shot, tends to have a different release than your standstill jump shot. So will the custom visual cues have some say on how those signature go-to shots are released? These are questions that we don't know yet. And I think we're going to start getting some. We got my career coming up. But I still got some more stuff and more information and more videos coming out for y'all breaking down what we know by the information that's out there for NBA 2K25. So if you like the video, make sure you like the video. Now, some of y'all are seeing this as the first video in my series, but there's going to be more that's coming up. So if you're watching this as the first one, check out this video right here, man, so you can get more information about NBA 2K25.